Yo, yo, what up, what up, what up, what up? What's going on, y'all? What's going on? I'm DJ Class. Welcome to Unruly Live. Yo, let's get this thing going. DJ Class, man. What up, what up, what up? What up? What up? What up? I'm good, man. Thank you, man. How was it? Man, sucks crazy. I had a good time. Yeah, man. Man, exploring this new music is, is kind of cool. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a little old out here in these streets, so. Right, 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 right. <laughs> nah. I'm trying to make sure I can keep up with the youngest. Nah, you definitely had a flaw. had a flaw. So, um, what what inspired you to, like, to do this, though? You know what I'm saying? Man, just, um, you know, just the idea that, like, no one is really doing the lines for falling in the club. I, I did a record called I'm the Itch. At this point, about 13 years ago. When I did that record, um, it was listed as pop. It wasn't even like the hood stuff that we considered that record like on some hood stuff. But it wasn't that to the world. It was like pop or even, even like EDM. So coming back to do stuff like what we did, and it's being recognized by the dancers of the culture versus when I came out with that record that many years ago. It's a, it's a blessing. It's very refreshing to see that now it's surfacing again where it's not just me. Kanye, you're in the studio. Like, how did that come about? Well, I, well what happened was I was on, I was on tour. Oh, I met Tom from MySpace. Wow. wow. <laughs> and Tom oh was like, we're going Tom. over to this party. You were this top uh, five or top <laughs> ten. What, what was it? Top five, top ten? <laughs> right, no, I, I wanted none of that. But um, he, he said we're going to a party in Burbank. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that it was a um, kind of a birthday celebration for Kanye West mm -hmm. as well. I met Heavy D there. Let's go peace, Heavy D. Um, and we was just vibing, you know, just they having a good time drinking. Me. They plays on the pitch. Because, I mean, it's, and it's not just bubbling, but it's... You know, it's, it's mainstream, but you know, mix show. So, in fact, I was uh, in the top five on Billboard for records they called Bowling Under. That was right. a chart that they called right. now. It was uh, like six different charts at the time. Anyway, um, we in there, Sean is uh, over there. I see him talking to Kanye West. And um, all of a sudden, he calls me over to meet him. So I'm like, oh, like I'm a big fan of Kanye West. So I'm like, damn, I get to meet Kanye. I never thought that would happen. So we, we chop, we chop it up a little bit. And of course, in Kanye fashion, he was just like, yo, the remix with Lil John was dope, but you should have called me. <laughs> I was like, okay, all right. I said, well, what's up? Let's go. Right. Let's do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, well, I got, I'm, I'm going to go and book the studio tomorrow. Or, Do you got a studio? I said, um, yeah, I can get a studio. So we called the label, said, hey, hey, hook us up in the studio. We right out here in Hollywood. We stand in Hollywood. Right. They hooked us up with this place. I heard it was um, one of Dr. Dre's yeah. old studio. And the yeah. engineer and the guy that runs the place was kind of chuckling, laughing at us a little bit. Because he was like, you ain't no who? Wow. <laughs> like, yeah, you ain't no Kanye West. He was like, for real? Like, Yeezy? Like, yeah. He like, <laughs> okay. All right, good luck. Because uh, two days before that and the day before that, he had sessions there with people that paid time for the whole day. Mm -hmm. And they didn't show up. Oh, wow. Kind of working on other stuff, mm -hmm. waiting on Kanye West. Right. And all of a sudden, the guys came back in the room. The guy that run the place, the engineer, was like, Sir, Mr. Class, Class, Mr. Class? He was just like, Whoa, whoa. It was due to Mr. Class. I'm trying to figure out why is he giving me all this, all his respect now. Ah. So sure enough, Mr. West was in the building. He walked in, and we just kind of vibed, listened to beats, and, you know, of course, he was intrigued by Baltimore club music and, you know, he, and, and I'm saying, this is so long ago, he was kind of comparing it to the juke sound in Chicago. Chicago right. Fast beat, real raw, mm -hmm. a lot of good stuff. Even though it was like fast and ball, it still had the same kind of, right. you know, same kind of deal, so. Where is DJ Class evolving? Well, I haven't, I'm not done recording. I okay. still got stuff I want to do. Okay. Um, I got an album, I just finished, I don't know if I want to say the names. The yeah. second side of things, back with Unruly. Okay. <laughs> with Unruly, you know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. You're getting it popping. Um, but more on executive role, so I'm, I'm taking all the opportunity to start looking for new talent. You know, of course, you got to stay young in this game. And, mm -hmm. You know, the culture has flipped a little bit. Before it was people coming to parties and the DJ controlling it. Now, we have a lot of the dancers who make the music now. So, you know, shout out to TSU, Terry, and uh, TSU Dance Crew. Shout out to uh, Be Morning Dance. You got to see these young people show like there's so much more than what we had because a lot of us was just DJs and of course I don't dance trust me you ain't never seen me dance right. you don't want to uh, um, but but they got the skill to dance and bring that part of the culture into the game now 
so it's flipping a little bit. We usually got them on faster. They got a little bit more polished. We were very raunchy when I was, when I was that young. <laughs> so the sound has changed up a little bit, and I'm embracing it 100%.